Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and in this video, we are going to take a look at the Dove Fist Android 16 GSI ported ROM for our Galaxy S7, the S7H, the Note 7 and the Note FE. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, this is the Dove Fist Android 16 based ROM and this is also based on Lineage OS. First, let's take a look at the settings as you can see, this is the settings homepage, the dashboard. Uh, you have your Google account, your face customization, and all the settings are bifurcated separately. We don't have your default settings layout, but yeah, uh, let's see if we can change that. We're going to check that afterwards in the Derp face settings. So you can see we have this Derp face banner in about device. Under that, you have some info about your device. Then we have Android version 16, and here we have Android version 16, Derp face 16, uh, November 1, 2025 security patch. And we have the Chronos kernel as we have uh, that by default with the One UI 6 vendor on this uh, all the GSI ported ROMs. It's same for all the ROMs. So guys, starting with the lock screen, as you can see, we get Derp Fist themed wallpaper on the lock screen and home screen as well. We have the new Android 16 clock styles. You can get a lot, you know, uh, a lot of clock styles. So you, you can access them to settings. We have these dots. Uh, I don't know why mentioning the lock screen. But yeah, that is, I guess, a lock icon. But yeah, that's how weird it is. Like I've set a different uh, icon, custom icon set. And that's why the lock icon has also changed. So that's great. We get this uh, wallpaper again. You can see this is the Dove's theme wallpaper. And the wallpaper has changed the accent color to this. You can see lemony minty color. Uh, yeah, somewhat like that. Quite a bit fluorescent as well. But yeah, we have the dock on the home screen, the Google search bar, and this is the new kind of Google search bar. Looks really nice with that rounded corners. In the launcher home settings, we have Dove Fest branding, your icons, home screen. Let's take a brief look at, I'm going to show you them quickly. So these are the icon, icons, icon packs, uh, the notification icons and all that, your lock layout, uh, adding apps to home screen, swipe to access Google, at a glance, quick space, search bar, all the options. And we have app drawer, you know, we have themed icons in app drawer, you have draw labels, Kili apps blur. So yeah, that is uh, the background blur you can see. Uh, sorry, all apps blur. Then gestures, we have double tap to screen off. So you can also try that uh, on the home screen. Oops. And you can see it works fine. That's how it works. Yeah. And uh, other than that, let's go back. We have recent app customization, memory info. You have your uh, screenshot lens, split screen uh, icons to easily access them. Then to miscellaneous, we have some home screen rotation taskbar. We have a tiny taskbar here, but it's not needed for our S7. We also have hidden and protected apps suggestions, and we have restart to forcefully restart the launcher. Like if you have made any changes to the launcher and it is not applied, you can restart the launcher and easily uh, check out those changes if they are done or not. That would happen after the restart. And this is the app drawer and we have a lot of Google apps. Uh, I've installed a few apps, three, four apps, Instagram, Telegram, YouTube and some Google apps like Maps or Gmail. Yes, we do get Google Play Store by default, so you don't have to install G apps manually in any of the ROMs which I'm telling you guys to. If I have to install G apps manually in any of such ROM which I'm reviewing for the S7, then I will separately mention it to install it. But there's no need to install G apps separately, or it might uh, like destroy the installation and it won't be properly done, and you might face a boot loop. Now you can also do check out the quick settings, which are a bit gradient themed. You can see they are not totally according to the accent which has been set by the wallpaper but they're a bit gradient you can also customize this through the first customizations which we are going to take a look at afterwards now let me show you all the settings the basic settings briefly then we are going to move towards the first customizations now the first one uh, network internet connected device all is okay display uh, you can see brightness lock screen all that stuff uh, pocket detection we do have dark theme that's a pure black uh, theme you can see we have pure black theme so there's no need to worry about all that that looks really great on s7's amulet device uh, amulet display we have light display night light we have color contrast which you can change you have enhanced hdr brightness 
I don't know if that works. TAC 2 wake is there, but this does not work because this is a GSI based ROM. I don't know if there is, you know, there will be any source based ROM. It might work there. This is the wallpapers and style, and I don't know why it took a lot of time, but yeah. There's the lock screen. You can configure it with a lot of clock icons, uh, icon styles. Uh, yeah, you can choose between any of them. Then you have home screen here. You have colors and all that same stuff. You upgrade your icon. You can change icons through here. You can see a lot of them are here. You can also do that from the dog first customization, I guess. Oops, sorry. Let me show you the lock screen again. Have a notification in not a lot of you have clock font which you can easily change it through here and uh, icon font you can change it uh, the system font and shape you have uh, shapes various shapes here yeah, I don't know if it's visible to you guys I don't know only the border is visible if I have set this uh, tinted color so yeah I don't know why this is like that but yeah only the border of the icon shape is visible now moving into notifications your basic stuff sound and all that you have modes you have sound accessibility security you have face unlock i guess we have face unlock fingerprint also works fine and uh, uh, to set a screen lock first yeah there's fingerprint and face as well so there's no need to worry Let's go down some basic stuff. You have battery. I don't use this device a lot, but yeah, you know, this is the, I have set it to wireless charge and it has full charged and now it's just running on, you know, waiting for me to use it as a remote device for my Spotify or TV or watch YouTube videos sometimes. Okay. So it got, you know, it got lagged and hanged while you know just reviewing it so yeah this is how you can see easily uh, sometimes it gets lagged you can just easily put it out yeah storage system we have keyboard system profiles navigation mode where you can change gesture navigation to button you know the i guess this was introduced in android uh, ori or android pi i guess two button navigation but it's not there so yeah we'll just switch to gesture we have taskbar enable taskbar option here you can also do that and into gestures we have all the system gestures we have double press power button quick tap gesture anywhere you can draw it on the lock screen you can see we have a variety of uh, shapes if you enable that oh this is uh, this is gesture anywhere which is going to yeah you can draw it there yeah, that's the one which i was talking about i don't use this a lot but yeah that's all for the system settings and yes these are the gestures the remaining gestures which you can swipe to screenshot which is a very good option you can just use three fingers and will click a screenshot obviously on the s7 is a bit laggy but yeah that's how it works now let's take a look at the Dorfish customizations so inside settings it's in the first at the top Dorfish customizations moving here you can see another Dorfish branding they're doing this a lot and i'm loving it Monet settings here we have theme style color source this is present in a lot of roms which provide you a lot of customization so yes this is one of them status bar you have uh, your quick pull down status bar lyric network traffic monitor which is also present in lineage os system icons custom logo status bar icon tint show combined notification count which is also a good feature lifts appeals uh sorry saves a lot of space AMPM style in clock, you can also hide it, auto hide. You have brightness control on status bar, you have quick settings here, and you have quick settings option, tile shape mode. You can see gradient tile backgrounds. You can disable this, and your tile backgrounds will be normal. As you can see now, this is just a flat color. And if you enable this, it changes to a gradient color, which looks much better than the flatter one. So I prefer gradient color. This is that kind of a bluish theme, then it looks more better. But yeah, it was coming with the, the wallpaper. So I just wanted to show it to you guys in the video. So this is a uh, you know, Chinese lunar calendar. You can also use this and you can see you get this Chinese lunar calendar. 
So yeah, this is also one of some unique stuff which you get in a very lesser ROMs. Uh, you have brightness slider moving to bottom. You have footer items and data usage. You can configure this. Or you have notification stuff, heads up, compact, heads up, ticker, island notification. You have island notification. I have it enabled and works quite well uh, with some apps. You have edge lighting. You have status bar action chip is also here. And you can also use uh, show media progress. But I don't use media a lot on this device. So we have edge lighting and we have a lot of modes, manual rainbow. You have flip to activate uh, only when the phone is flipped. And you have animation effect with a lot of effects, chase, sparkle, wave, breathing. So you can set them accordingly. And going back, uh, we have here's buttons. Uh, you have button customization, inverted layout. You have power menu. You have advanced power menu. You can see uh, you get a lot of stuff. If you want to switch to another ROM, you can just use reboot and switch to recovery and flash another ROM from TURP. You have volume button and all that extra control, partial screenshot and the lock screen. We have hiding status bar, unlock animation, ambient LED, uh, ambient uh, AOD, which AOD is not working on the device. So you can just disable this. Also do not turn on AOD. You have media cover art. We have blur level also, which I have set. We have pulse, which is also set. You can see you can customize this by a lot of stuff. We have spoofing options. We have disable force integrity. You can also attach your key box and PIF JSON to fix Play Store integrity and device integrity. And unlimited photo options are here. And this is the about again the first. Happy with the branding. And we have all this team you which you can uh you also have your uh, external links to wallpapers and other options which you can go through. You have the ROM source code, device code, about phone. And here we have lead developer and lead of uh, uh, QA, uh, I guess quality assurance. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, whatever it is, this is the team. And this is the Derp first Android 16 custom ROM. And guys, that was it for the Derp first Android 16 review. Now about the bugs, everything will be the same. And for the brightness fix, you can use this fix. Go into travel settings. Go into, I guess it was Samsung settings. Yeah. Going down here, you can see you can set the display uh, scale to this number. Okay. Setting to this number, you have to, I don't think you have to reboot the device. But yeah, you will get kind of this uh, a lot of you know higher brightness uh, now to control the brightness you need to turn on extra dim that's it and you can long press extra dim and you can control it easily set it to low then turn it high again set it low to an optimal level your readable level and that was it the brightness is brightness has a temporary fix that's it so if you guys like the video, you can press the like button, if not the dislike button. And I hope you guys to see you soon with another one with the S7 or other devices I have. But yes, there's one more ROM in, on the S7, which I'm going to review soon because I have my exams coming. I won't be able to push out a lot, but let's see if I can review it soon and, you know, schedule it for later, uh, which you guys can easily check. And that's it. Bye bye. See you guys. Stay subscribed uh, for feedback. Comment section is there and you can also join the channel, which is totally uh, uh, optional. And yep, that's it. Bye bye, guys. Take care. See you soon.